Hi everyone. So today I have the honor of introducing to you Dr. Arush. He's the rank one INIC in November 2023. Dr. Arush, how are you feeling right now? And heartiest congratulations. Thank you, sir. No, the feeling actually so, cannot be described. To be honest. So you know, were you always looking forward to this day where you would have a rank one? <laughs> I don't think no anyone looks forward to this day, sir. <laughs> it's just it happens. Yeah, how, how does it happen? Just you know, we want you to elaborate the feeling. <laughs> I didn't have the stomach to see the result. To be honest, so I asked my mother to see it. And yeah, it just happened. Peter, your 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 audio is slightly low. Is that? Uh, can you just increase it from your device? Yeah, is it fine now? Uh, slightly better, I think. So. Arush, I want to know from you how was this year paper and what was your strategy during the exam? So the paper was, uh, to me, I felt the paper was uh, very different. Uh, more importantly, because they informed us just a few days before that about their fourth set thing, so that is what left me overwhelmed, and that is what uh, actually ruined my strategy, which I had uh, while giving GTs uh, in the preparation phase, because. Uh, I listened to your video um, a day before the exam where you said ki we cannot actually or we should not actually leave many questions in the initial few sets uh, otherwise we won't know what will be coming in the future sets and that is what created the whole ruckus for me because uh, all the weird questions fell uh, for me within the first set so I had no idea what to do and um, time management time management become, became a very big problem for me so I just uh, like went with my gut and uh, marked whatever I could in the first set and uh, the upcoming sets became relatively easier and uh, this is a problem and this is a very bad uh, I feel uh, a very unwelcome approach from the from these people because uh, you don't know uh, how many questions to leave and you are left totally in the wild uh, what to do with the initial few sets so yeah it is an unfair advantage to ones uh, who actually get tougher questions in the later sets because they have a fair idea how many questions to leave so yeah how many did you attempt actually now if we look back? About 194, 194. That's great. And how was the difficulty level according to you of the paper overall? I think one set was tougher, probably the medicine set, I think. But uh, what, what was yeah. the overall difficulty level? I got many incorrect in uh, medicine. Uh, then... Uh, Path was also uh, on the difficult side. Anat was difficult. Hmm. Then uh, pharma also, I think. Pharma, I felt was relatively uh, on the easier side. I did some silly mistakes in pharma, but otherwise hmm. uh, it could it was well well manageable. I actually uh, had uh, you have a mindset while going to the exam that uh, subjects like pharma will be asking you new drugs and all, so you are prepared for that. But this time they did not do that hmm. and uh, they left you uh, completely in the wild. How, how was this paper different from the last exam, if you compare from the previous papers, other than the four set thing? Yeah, in an ad they asked uh, gross sections. Uh, that was my weak point. So that hit me pretty hard in the first set. Then um, CCM, um, they asked pretty unexpected questions. Um, but that usually happens, uh, like no biostats this time, so they vary from year to year. Um, other than that, OBG also, there were uh, not repeats, but they asked different things around the topic, which was pretty surprising because they were pretty good questions and you just had to take a guess because you, no one probably knew the answer to those. And they were quite, and the options are actually quite confusing because they are pretty close options. And uh, it feels actually while uh, giving a GT uh, at home or something, or even in the CBT, like it feels key, you have time and you are able to manage, but in the exam while holding those nerves, managing time becomes very difficult. Uh, but you have been a DAMS student, I think, for the last uh, three or four years. How was your experience with DAMS and uh, how was your experience overall preparing for this difficult exam? So I entered this arena uh, via DAMS only. Uh, so my preparation started with DAMS only. So most of my pre-paraclinical subjects uh, I prepared via DAMS only. Uh, it was in the uh, uh, before COVID era. 
uh, I attended uh, offline classes for about three, four months, and then COVID struck in 2020. Uh, then everything went online, and thereafter I realized that the online approach suits uh, suits me better, much better uh, than the offline one. So yeah, uh, that was an uncanny advantage or to mm-hmm. my approach. Then I could do better, uh, prepare better notes um, than the offline classes. Um, you know, did those notes that you made in the classes online, offline, did they help you in your final revision? Yeah, I did not uh, make any new notes for subjects like uh, when uh, at the time that I uh, studied. But yeah, uh, every faculty is amazing at them, so uh, those uh, were the only notes that I used. any particular you know uh, you know uh, things that you want to highlight regarding your approach like you have been a regular student as well as a tnd student and you given a lot of tests also i could see when i saw the approach that you had so were you consciously giving more tests to increase your ability to solve the mcqs like what i felt was uh... Uh, i learned more through questions rather than uh, going through uh, reading notes so yeah i went through uh, my notes uh, in the first run and then uh, i felt that uh, i could add more to my notes via questions rather than uh, approaching to new and new videos uh, that would have been a better approach so yeah and the tests uh, give you uh, a sense of the time uh, how you have to manage doing the questions but also uh, uh, when they throw you some new questions Uh, then how you analyze them and how you manage to get them correct so that is important any particular you know uh, strategy during the grand test that you utilize to you know get more out of the test or you know any particular idea that you have regarding your exam strategy yeah in the preparation phase it is like um, i have to bookmark or uh, somehow mark the questions that uh, i am somewhat not confident in and while revising the questions i will definitely first revise the incorrect ones but thereafter i'll go to the questions that even if i got correct but i have marked because there was some sort of doubt in my mind and i have to correct that uh, thought process uh, to get it um, more confidently correct the next time any particular idea about you know when you saw this year's strategy and you saw this year's paper and you learned that okay the peer paper had four sets 45 minutes a- anything about the time management that you want to highlight uh, you know were you able to manage all the sets in time or was there any issue now that is what i'm saying ki the first set um, threw me all the questions and already the person is pretty nervous and you do not have a speed or a momentum to get through uh, as you said in your video also that by the third set everyone will have that momentum and will have that that everyone will be able to manage the time so the people who get that those tough questions in the third or fourth set probably might do better than those who get it in the first set so um, yeah um, and i did not have any gt with me from any institute to say ki with that four set approach before the exam so it became pretty difficult uh, and i hope that they do not continue this thing because uh, it's anyhow pretty difficult and you have no idea how many questions to leave or what to go about those questions in the upcoming sets so yeah how many would you have got correct out of the questions that you attempted honestly i have no idea because even the recalls vary um, and even i cannot remember the questions that they presented like there are many questions uh, which uh, there is a variation in the recall among students also among what i remember so it is difficult but i have no idea mm-hmm. was this your first attempt uh, at the paper yes sir Yes, sir. And uh, were you able to manage with the internship pressures and all? Any advice to the fresh interns who are appearing for the exam? Uh, I actually, look, it is just like uh, for this, for especially for the INI set exam, it is more like you should have your day, and uh, yeah, the revisions have to be uh, on the better side so that you can recall things or you can make a smart guess in the exam. but it is all about guessing in the exam so yeah uh, you might get it correct it might not be your day so you cannot uh, actually uh, stake everything uh, like the internship should go on you should learn things but yeah you should continue reading and uh, maybe not in the first attempt but anyhow uh, if you have a good uh, read so in the second attempt any matlab it is possible to get it done any particular revision resources that you utilize from dams like dvd inipyt or pyq sessions or any such resource that you utilize i saw the pyts um, they were pretty good 
for subjects especially like path um uh, they were pretty good and um, the youtube videos also uh, like um, predictor series post- yeah the predictor series uh, i watched videos from deepthi ma'am and all uh, they were pretty good uh, so yeah that that those are the only things that uh, i could manage in the last few days because i cannot go about doing the entire revision uh, in the last few days how many revisions were you able to uh, do before the ini set exam any because any particular idea for the future aspirants that how much how much they can revise and any thought process on that entire idea about first reading revision i would suggest that um, get the first reading done as soon as possible in the internship and um, thereafter you can go about solving questions and about um, two months before the exam uh you can start reading the subjects and simultaneously solving gts and all and um, then it depends on how fast the second uh, revision goes that you can because anyhow uh, it won't be a complete subject for me it was not a complete subject revision that i could manage in the second or third go it is just like you analyze and you think that this is uh, where i could get a question or i could get confused so i should read subjects like ortho or something where you have classifications and all like pharma and all but there are big subjects like obg so that gets in your mind that how will i be able to manage the entire subject so those subjects you can barely manage of one, uh, one go but for subjects like uh, you can get ideas at the radio tables and all radio therapy and all the ones that you got those uh, things can be revised a few days before the exam but not everything and you know i'll you know before we you know go forward i just want you to tell us about the subject wise distribution in this paper what first second year more represented than the third fourth year this time like usual or did you feel a pattern different like as you said in the analysis also key it was 60 40 or 50 50 more or less so yeah it did not matter but the point was key clinicals were a bit more on the tougher side you uh, relatively uh what we are used to is seeing pre clinical and para clinicals on the tougher side but this time i felt that the clinical subjects they uh, went us creating uh, creating confusion in our minds about the options rather than the pre para clinical which were manageable now i'll invite your organ gynae teacher to quickly congratulate you hi arosh hearty congratulations Good You've evening. done exceedingly well. It couldn't have been better than this. So, heartiest congratulations, and so happy to see that smile. And I was hearing your interview, and I think you rightly said the clinical subjects have gone into quite a depth, and uh, I would say the depth is quite a lot. And yes, uh, although the topics are same, but I always say, you know, when we talk about INICT, the topics are restricted, but they do go into each and every depth of it, right? So, what would be your advice, Arush, to everyone around, and what are your inputs? And definitely, do let me know how is your video. Ah, ma'am, seeing your recall, I could realize that, I mean, if you have, you need to be very thorough with OBG. I mean, to be honest, uh, yes, very thorough yes. with OBG to be making it through those options. Um, but yeah. Um, other than that um, you just need to be getting intelligent guesses at those options um, you cannot do anything about it. yeah there are some weak areas and if they hit those weak areas like i was pretty weak at uh, specific topics in anat especially the gross sections and they asked those so yeah i was pretty uh, anxious in the first set but you have to keep your nerves and uh, go about doing the right and uh, what would be your piece of advice for anyone who's going to prepare now for the may session you know because that's what people look forward to uh, so someone starting now and going until may what would be your piece of advice for them for i and i said you need to go into the depth uh, there is no escape yeah. um, i feel even if the person would have not done the pyqs uh, that would have hurt but not as much as not reading the subject entirely so yeah pyqs help but they can only get you about 10% questions of the 10% of 15 or 20% questions correct other than that uh, they confuse you in the options and it needs to be a very good day to get through that i think that's a very very wise piece of advice and that is coming from bank one and i can see how genuine he is when he is saying that you know so absolutely anyone trying to tell you to go superficial to just cover pyqs i mean that's not going to hit uh with and i think that was the same with the other subjects as well they they have been making options which are very close so you really need to know 
everything that we have written in the notes you know if we tell you that it is an advanced stage it is an advanced stage so if we told you some tiny thing that if it is non resectable or if it is like this then you do this first and so yes i would say a uh, question that question that ovarian cancer shit i was stuck there for i don't know how much time ki debulking surgery or surgery debulking i like you just need to hit that and in the question they had written ki the condition the physical condition was not good and that is where yeah. you place your bed but yeah. still it exactly not only mind. that they did talk about you know they've given tiny details of the ct scan so they talked about omental caking they talking they talked about peritoneal carcinomatosis and as you said the condition not being well so as i say you know agar wo notes mein kahin bhi likha hai na aur wo topic important hai to please usko superficial mat kaato right so sometimes uh, students feel ki kyun itna depth padhaya ja raha hai but you know and i feel sorry ki hame padhana hai because that is the depth that they are going on to so you know uh, i will also always tell them that you know you might be feeling ma'am is crazy going to that depth who is asking all that you know to please take us seriously and take rank one definitely much more seriously than us he is putting his heart out to you okay arush it was wonderful wonderful speaking to you and what branch do you want to pursue i don't know it yet ma'am <laughs> wow okay you have enough time you have all options with you and sure whatever branch it is going to be um you know you're going to do full justice to it and you're going to come out rising and shining as always so we wish you a super bright future ahead keep smiling take care of yourself and uh, you know um, i would say just stay happy and keep smiling <laughs> any any you know anything motivating anything else that you would want to say <laughs> you are better at motivation ma'am <laughs> what can i say <laughs> but yeah uh, it was an honor talking to you and sir and yeah this is the day i was looking forward to so my arush it's our pleasure and uh, you know congratulations uh, we are happy you all the best and happy diwali in advance <laughs> we are happy that you've done very well and we are happy that you are satisfied you are happy with your result that's what matters and you're able to pursue what you want to pursue because that's how you will do justice to it right so wish you good luck bachche take care and stay connected to us thank you for making dams a part of your journey god bless thank you thank you ma'am happy diwali thank you you too bachcha happy diwali